everybody, Pam at the Paper Outpost here. Have you got game cards? If you have game cards, you have a perfect base to start with to make some really cool fabric collage pockets for your junk journal. Let's take a look at some prototypes that I made and they're very fun to make. I had a great time making these this morning and um, I want to show you how I did it. And also, if you don't have game cards, you can also use playing cards. You can also use um, index cards and you can also use uh, pieces of cereal box. Okay, so those will all work. And um, I found my game cards, either I, they've ranged from, I think these are Trivial Pursuit cards, anywhere from 50 cents a box to two bucks a box um, at the thrift stores or garage sales. Um, and you get a lot for that amount. So they will last you a long time. So here we go. But it's kind of nice because they've got the square edges and they're very easy to work with and they're perfect pocket size for junk journals. So here are some uh, prototypes that I made. This is a first prototype. And uh, I did do some sewing on here because it just makes it so much easier. You could glue everything down with um, a fabric glue like Fabrifix, which is a clear silicone glue. Uh, but um, I think the sewing really helps here. It just really anchors everything down and it makes it easy. Okay, so, and if you're afraid of your sewing machine, I was too. I totally understand. I was scared about it. I thought it was for only people who were born into long lineages of sewing families, grandmas, great grandmas, things like that, that could sew. And then I suddenly realized it's just a tool and millions of people all over the world use it. And if you can drive a car, you can, you can operate a sewing machine. So there you go. All right. So it's just done naked on the back because it's actually going to be adhered to a page. And um, so this one, I just tacked on little remnants, little pieces. Now this is where we, we go deep and we realize that those little tiny pieces that we throw away can actually be used for a lot of things. So if you just want to sit down and have some fun, this is one great way to do it. Now this one, um, I backed on, this has a white backing behind it. And I'll show you how I did that. This one was designed with some book page as the covering and that obscures the words very well on the um, the game card makes it easy and then this little guy was actually a base of washi tape yeah and i'm thinking you know sometimes people have different things at home so let's see how we can use up what we have and um, make really cute things out of them all right so just uh, i'll do a little example here in case uh, you're not familiar with a uh, um, if you're not familiar with a junk journal and a, and a junk journal pocket, I have not done my job well. Okay, so um, this is a junk journal and it's just a book that we create ourselves and it has a lot of fun and interesting things in it. And one of them is a pocket. So I thought this might look really cute here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue this pocket down. I'm going to use the Fabrifix glue. Okay, and I'm just going to glue it in the U shape. And the, the string and everything on here helps the glue adhere even better. So don't be afraid to get the glue on the fabric. Uh, and close my little Fabrifix bottle. Okay, bend a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put it here because I might want something long and tall in there. And then, once this is dry, you can come along and tuck something in there that, whoop, not through the bottom panel. Yeah, you want to wait till it's dry, trust me. <laughs> and then you can tuck it in there and that could be a nice place to hold some ephemera or bookmarks or, um, you know, whatever you have, uh, maybe tall journal cards, things like that, and or uh, writing paper, stationary paper. So it's a little U-shaped pocket. That's the whole idea here. And so let's, that one prototype now is gone to the ethers because it is in there. Um, so let's go ahead and make some of these. They're really fun to make. All right, so I'm just going to go zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to start with a one and I'm going to kind of model off the one I did. I'll just put it out there so I can see it. Okay. All right. So this one, I took a, a blank piece of paper. I just had some leftover scraps from um, some projects that I was doing and I'm trying to find another scrap here. Okay. Here's a scrap and I think this will work. Yes. Okay. So let's just glue this down. And it doesn't have to be super strong glue or anything because I'm going to sew this. But if you are um, not going to sew it, I would use some stronger glue and make sure you get to the edges very well. But I don't have to worry about getting the edges very well because I'm going to sew it. All right. So we're just going to do the tack down. How is everybody doing today? I'm going to use the edge of this to make uh, cutting easier for me so I don't have to cut so much. 
Okay, there we go. Now all I have to do is cut here and here. And with the magic of a craft knife and a steady hand, you don't even need a ruler. If you, if you just angle straight down or a little bit away and follow the edge, go slowly, and you're going to get a nice crisp cut like that. Yeah, no ruler needed. Very gently, very slowly. You can use scissors, that's fine. And what's always a nice touch if you want to do it is, uh, let's say you have a little overage there, you know, um, come along with our old friend sanding block. Just sand that off. And it also gives a nice little rough edge, I think, um, if you're going to ink it or do anything to it, it, it just makes it very receptive to receiving any inks and things like that. So you pretty much have a blank slate to start with now. Um, you can see through it a little bit, but because we're going to be putting things on top, it doesn't matter. Okay, so there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Um, now that first one I did, <coughs> actually, let's use some of this. This is some pretty old lace that I found. And uh, you can find these in thrift stores, vintage shops, antique stores, antique mall. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Isn't that pretty? All right, let's just do that because it's just so darn pretty. I can't stand it. So I'm, I'm using a bigger piece. You don't have to cover the whole thing. You could start with little pieces and bigger pieces, however you want to do it. It's okay. It's all okay. Uh, because you're just, um, I would say, think about maybe putting somewhere between two and actually you could do one. Um, I'm just going to put a little glue down here just to give something to give it adherence so it's not running around when I put it on the sewing machine. Now, um, I sew through glue. It's probably not the best thing to do with expensive sewing machines, but I don't have an expensive sewing machine and mine is dedicated to, well, it's not dedicated to paper sewing. I still sew regular material on it, but it just knows when I'm coming for it, what the issue, like, hey, I'm coming with glue, baby. You got to make it. So make sure it's a sewing machine that you're okay with doing that. Don't use like grandma's really expensive machine or something or your expensive machine <laughs> if you're grandma. Um, yeah, just uh, know what you're working with and, and you can get inexpensive sewing machines down at the Goodwill. I'm also using a pinking shear because I think it, it lends a pretty edge. We've already got a pretty edge roll in there. So you might be able to find a pinking shear somewhere around. And that's pretty, right? You know, I mean, and, and you can find, let's say you can find beautiful antique lace like this. You can find things that look like this on clothing. Okay, let's, this is not exactly the same, but I have now donated a piece of my clothing to the junk journal world. See, I mean, there's pretty stuff out there that you can find on clothing that will give you a lacy look. Okay, so remember that. You're not, you're not dead in the water. No, no. I don't hear that I don't have it stuff. No, nope, no. Nope. You go back. You look in the closet. You look in your kid's closet. Neighbors, sisters, you know, that kind of stuff. You go in there and you look deep. Okay, what's this? This, I'm pretty sure, is like a piece off of a, an old dress or something. I thought this is really pretty, isn't it? Not huge contrast, but boy, that is kind of pretty. Oh, I do like that. Now, we do have some sequins in here. Sewing through that might be a little difficult. Okay, maybe we won't do you. Um, let's just keep it easy, Pam. Keep it easy. Don't go hog wild. Okay, all right. I'm, re I'm reeling it in. I'm reeling it in. All right, so look for a little bit. Anything you got hanging around, just, just gather it all together in a pile. Um, you know, maybe, okay, maybe we can use a little bit of this. And, um, if you don't want to sew through it, you can always glue it on. Okay. I could come back at the end and just glue this on there. So yeah, just, just know it's okay. It's okay. And, uh, maybe I want something a little bit more white. Okay. Maybe for just fresh contrast. Maybe that, that looks nice. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And, uh, same thing again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna glue it on. Um, uh, just a light. This is Amazon Basics glue, washable, safe, non-toxic, whatever. It's just, I just need something to hold it in a general zone. Yeah. Okay. And let's use, uh, okay, the pinkers. Okay. I have a nice little edge there. Already done. If you don't have pinking sh shears, don't let that stop you. No, no, no. I don't want to hear any of that. No. Okay, now let's build something a little bit on here so uh, we can do something fun. Okay, here's a weird little piece of canvas paper stuff. Let's, let's put that on there. Maybe we'll take that off. And maybe we'll just build something out of it. Yeah, let's get that little bit on there. And uh, we could put it right in the center. We could put it on the corner. Oh, that looks kind of cute. How about something like that? 
Okay, I could do that. Oh, we could also do it on here because that's this way. Maybe this will be a this way thing. This whole thing is changing its orientation right before our eyes because sometimes that's how things happen. So, and this could be um, a very tall, thin pocket or it could just be glued and an L shape and that way you can tuck bigger things in behind it. Maybe we'll do that. All right. Um, I am going to use just a little baby tiny bit of Fabrifix. Now you don't want to staple this stuff down because you're going to go through it with a needle and that might break your needle. So be wary of that. Okay. I'm going to put on an angle for some more fun and flair and then just glue this down. I'll probably glue that down at the end. Yeah. I don't need to put that on right now. Just get that off your finger, Pam. Get it off the finger. Okay. Why? Why am I not using my Sugar Bell's icing piping bottle, which I transferred my, my glue into, my Fabrifix, which I normally do to get a very thin stream. I did a little experiment this morning and I've done this before. And I just, I didn't want to sit there and squeeze this whole bottle in here. So I took a fat chubby needle with a sharp point. And if you've ever seen the Fabrifix bottle, it has a little like um, ceiling right there at that funny little point and you have to poke through it or cut it off there. And I used to cut it off and then it would be a very big opening and gobs of stuff would come out and then it would volcano erupt out as the Fabrifix dried in the bottle. But I decided to go in here and just take this and go in there with sheer will and sheer will didn't work. So I had to, okay, I got there and I couldn't get any further. So I took my very love, beloved uh, little scissors and you see that little screw hole there? I stuck the end of the needle in there and I pushed and it went in. That's what happened. And then I did this and I made the hole bigger, a little bigger. Okay. And so far it's okay. I'm, I'm, and if you want to get um, Fabrifix glue off of stuff while it's still wet, acetone will take that right off or alcohol will take that right off. Or if you, if you get it going quickly, like if before it's dry, you can just roll it off. Okay. So I was just lazy. I will transfer it eventually. I was just, uh, I was just being lazy. Okay. Let's put in a little something extra so we can actually see we're layering something. I had this, um, this pretty little piece. I think it's from wreath making or ribbon or something. I don't know, but I like this little white piece and I wanted to, that's actually where this piece came from. It was one of those. I just want to take it off. Okay. Um, so sometimes you deconstruct to construct. Yeah. All right. And uh, so what are you making today? Huh? What's what's on your table or what's floating around in your head that you'd like to make? How about that? Yeah. Um, before you get all caught up with the holidays and everything, I encourage you to just make something that you want to make for fun. Yeah. Because um, if you enjoy your process, you'll do it and, and uh, you'll feel you'll feel happier at the end of the experience. And uh, then you'll make more things and then you'll leave more legacy in the world. That's right. <laughs> they will know we were here by our junk journals and stuff like that. Okay, that's really pretty. Okay. I mean, I hate to cover that up so pretty, but I could. I could totally do it. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because we're doing fabric collage today and that means layering. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to give it the pink. This already has a pink. We'll just straighten it up a little bit. Okay. And then we're just going to put that there. All right. And we'll just hope that stays. Well, we'll just give it a little glow. A little glow. Not too much, Pam. Just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now we have that. Let's go over to the machine of sewing this. Why is there this stuff on my desk? Does that happen to you? Look at all that. All right, trying to put you here so you can see. Ah, okay, now you can see. All right, I'm going in and I'm going to basically be working with two stitches. My primary stitches I work with are straight stitch and zigzag. Now, I do have, can you see, it? can you see it? All those stitches on there. See all these stitches? Yeah, I rarely use them. Um, straight stitch and zigzag are the ones I primarily use um, just because they're fun and easy and very effective. Um, but you can certainly use the others if you're more adept at all this stuff than me for sure. Okay, so let's get in here and let's do maybe a straight stitch across the top. That's a number one on my machine. It's a brother. So, now it sometimes it bunches up and that happens. So I say just like lift the foot and see if you can fix it. And if not, just sort of keep going. Yeah because these are supposed to look rustic and, you know, as if somebody from Little House on the Prairie made them. And I think it just lends appeal. <laughs> okay, turn. And now I'm going to do zigzag right down here. So I'm going to change to a number four. And you can make the zigzag a little wider. So um, it's sometimes easier for the machine. And go slow if you're going through several layers. 
And now you can just sort of drive around however you feel like you'd like to. So for example, I'm, I'm going to go close to the edge and then I'm going to do straight stitch. Oh no, I'm doing zigzag because, yeah, I forgot to change it. That happens. And then you sort of roll with it. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing zigzag. And you can change midway, like you can stop there and then switch to straight stitch. Yeah, you can. N see, no police came, everything was fine. I'm gonna go straight stitch here. And I'm just kind of having fun at this point and making it easy on myself. I'm just turning, lifting the foot, turning the little thing, driving around, maybe making some square shapes. You, if you're fancy, you can do free form. Um, I haven't quite, uh, you know, ascended to that level yet, but uh, this is kind of fun, and this actually adds a pretty accent onto your work. Okay, back it up. Now, if you might have to back it up, if you went too far, just hit the back up button. And I'm actually using the stitching as part of the decor. I just think it's pretty. Gives it sort of that, I don't know, holly hobby sort of homemade, handmade, lace, sewing. I don't know, there's just something about it, you know? Okay, I'm just gonna come right off the edge there because I'm lazy. Okay, here we go. Now just snipping that. And we have that. I mean, isn't that, that's just so pretty. I don't know, there's just something about it. It's so easy, it's just a uh, game card. And uh, I guess I have to probably call this game, got game cards number two. Um, there's a million and one things you can do with game cards. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm delicately moving you back over here. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. All right. Okay, let's go. Closer. Oh, yes, just a little too close. Okay, there we go. So we can see our little guy. And um, remember this little thing? This little whatnot that came from somewhere? I'm just going to glue him on here because that was his original purpose. And I don't know, maybe I've, I've turned this in my mind again. It is now no longer a, a tall pocket. It is a... It's not a pocket this way now. It's back to being this way. That happens sometimes. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. It just, it just does. Could probably have sewn down there too. But let's say you didn't and you forgot and you're like, oh, I feel like not finished. Grab your inky dauber. That's right. Grab your dauber. And I'm using vintage photo. I think there's probably some already on here. I think I'm too close for you. Okay. And you can come along and just ink the edges to give it that definition. If you need a little definition in an area, let's say you kind of didn't go to the edge somewhere and you needed the sewing to go to the edge or you felt like it would look more complete, just ink it, just ink it. Not stink it, ink it. Yeah, okay, and you can, you can ink the whole thing if you want, or not, or not. You don't have to do any inking, but there, there we go. And you could put a little button or something fun on there, totally up to you. Uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm just gonna leave that one as is, guys. I just think it's really pretty. And, uh, okay, so one done, one done. All right, so let's go on to number two get a new game card. And number two, I'm trying to find number two. There's one. Oh, here. Number two used a book page in, to obscure the game card wordage and things like that and the colors. Um, so let's go ahead and grab a book page. I am sacrificing a page from, I think this is Danielle Steele. Danielle, you have grand purpose this morning. <laughs> you are going to now be a, um, a pocket. And let's see, we just want to basically glue Danielle to the book, uh, to the game card where there's text. So I'm going to glue it this way. And then I'm going to do the same thing, just as I did with the regular blank paper. Very slow, carefully. Deafness of hand, quick wit, sharp eagle hawk eye. Always nervous when I say these things. Um, there we go. And I'm cutting on a craft mat, so it's a healing craft mat. It's like a miracle. I don't know how they make that stuff, but um, it just magically heals from all the cuts. They sell them at Walmart, any other craft stores, any sewing store, Joanne, stuff like that. You can get those anywhere. Um, but they're really nice because they've got the grid patterns, and it's, it's another way to um, not have to measure everything all the time. It helps you get your edges square and stuff like that. Okay, so let's assess how I did. Not bad. I mean, a little foo-foo there. And you just come along and you do one of those and get rid of that. Okay. Do that with the old sanding block. Okay. And I'm going to start amassing these little string bits because what I did was I made a version of... <clears throat> I just made a little cluster out of extra strings I had on my desk. 
You can also turn that into a bird's nest if you put little pearls in there. Um, or seed beads that look like a little collection in a nest. <clears throat> okay. So let's decorate this baby. Okay. That's very nice. All right, so number two, what did I use? I used a little bit of white because, it, well, this, well, this is cream, so we could go white or dark. Oh, that would look really pretty on there. I still really want to use this, apparently, so maybe we're going to be using this on here. And I might glue that on at the end just because it's got the sequins. I think it can sew. These are plastic sequins. I think it would sew through that. Well, maybe we'll try. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, what else have I got? Oh, this is nice. This is a nice little contrast. Um, we could do something like that. Let's start with that. Okay, just a little piece of lace. And if you, you're looking for lace, look in, um, you can buy lace online. You can buy it uh, from AliExpress. You can go into any um, Walmart or Joann's or uh, sewing stores. Um, Target, I'm sure, sells it. Um, <clears throat> but always check your thrift stores and your, um, looking for my sheet, my pinkers. Um, look at the, your yard sales and stuff. You can get, like, a lot of crafters get rid of stuff, and it's a great way to get things for less money if you're, you know, counting the pennies. And um, we all are these days for sure, um, I would think. And, uh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, we, could also do, we could actually do some kind of cool layer design. Oh, yeah, now we're going, now we're going. Okay, settle down, Pam. Okay, um, so another thing oh, that, that I used in this design was basic, just horizontal collaging. That was it. Nothing fancy. One big piece of lace in the middle. There was a fine piece of lace in the back and just a little extra piece of lace here. Nothing fancy. So one strip. Okay. Maybe one strip. That looks nice. I like that. Okay. And then something on the bottom. Maybe just a little piece. Do I have a little piece somewhere? Any a little tiny? I want to use something different. Look, look, hang on. Okay, look, oops. <coughs> mm. I just realized I didn't turn it back on. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure where we left off, but basically <laughs> I covered this with um, washi tape. And then now I, I glued a piece of uh, trim on this way and a little piece that way. And now I'm just carrying on with the design. Oh, you guys missed the best jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sounding like a go Goomba here this morning. Um, that's okay. We'll still keep having fun. All right. That's kind of cute. I like that. I don't know. Let's see what else we have here. Go look, see what you have on your desk, Pam. Just, just pull all the little tiny whatnots over. Okay, that's a big whatnot. Uh, you got some string. Well, maybe we could use the string ball here. Maybe that will be more... I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing, but we could use it. Let me just collect all this little weird stuff. Here's another little weird thing. I'm going to make the collection of weird stuff things. And then... Um, I'm going to wrap it around like this, grabbing the little strings. Well, you got some more string over here. Put that in. All right. And if, if it runs away on you, pretend you're like on a survivor island and you have to use what you have. So you're trying to make twine or string or rope or something, and you're just going around wrapping vines, anything you can find, grasses, sewing thread, <laughs> you know. And we're going to make a little thing that looks like a flat nest or a flat button or something like that. All right, I have no idea what I've made here, but we're going to glue it down and see what happens. Okay, maybe I'll put it up here. I'll put it up here. Okay, we put Tiny Bob down there. And then I'm going to spread it out a bit because you want to be able to catch the runaway flyaway hairs. Okay, here we go. Okay, dun, 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 down. All right, whatever you, what not you are. Okay, so now we have that. I know it's amazing, isn't it? Um, but you know what can make it really look amazing? 
I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Well, actually, it does work, but I just, it's, you have to be very ginger. Ginger when you do it. Work gingerly. Okay. Uh, let me zoom you in so you can see this. Okay, that's a little cluster of thread. Then I'm going to put a little dollop, a tiny dollop, not much. And it'll want to take this. Okay, it didn't. It doesn't. That's good. Okay, so now I have a little bit of glue on there. Now I'm just going to drop these seed beads on top. Mush them into the glue. That's what I'm doing. Some will stick. Some will come off on your finger. But you might get a few in there. You only need a few. It doesn't have to be 100 million. No. Okay. There. All right. That last one. Get you back up there. Are we in? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now let it, let it dry for a second. And then give it a push. Yeah. Make sure there's no glue on the top or it'll come right off on you. There, there we go. And then we have that. Okay, look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, okay, so now these other little bits. Well, we could let us sew. Let's do our sewing thing. See, I probably should have waited. I shouldn't have done that yet. Should have sewn first. Oh, well, too late now. So let's go over to the sewing machine. We're not going to sew through the beads. No, 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 no. I'm not that crazy. Um, okay, uh, come on, desk arm. Okay, there we go. There's where all the excitement happens coming over here. So basically you can sew through washi tape. Yeah, washi tape and game card. I think I'm going to do a straight stitch. I'm on a one. I'm on a big wide stitch. Let's do this. Okay, we're rolling. We're rolling. Oh, we're in big trouble now. What am I going to do? I can't, I can't roll over that, so I have to turn. I'm turning. I'm retreating. I'm totally retreating because I'm chicken. I don't want to run over my seed beads. That's okay. Come here. Turn, and I'm just following, just following these lines. You know, seeing how I can get there in another way. Is there another road? Road less traveled. Maybe let's try this road. Swing around here and go this way. And when you're feeling braver and bolder and there's not too much in your way, you can go a little faster. Okay, and then lift it up again. And we do this, we'll come up this way. Gingerly, gingerly. Holding my breath, not, don't let the foot run into the bead spam. Okay, stop there. Okay, there's probably a way around that. I don't know it. Okay, here we go. Coming in here. Okay, now I'm gonna go on the outside of this, just down this side. Oh, did I, no, I made it. Phew, that was really close. That was really close there, that little thingy. I'm gonna come up the other side. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, one more stitch. Turn. And then turn. And then just bring in this old, old cow home. Okay, here we go. And we're done. What'd we get? I think that's kind of cute. Hang, hang on. Let me, we can't really see that well yet. The artistry that went on here. My goodness. Let me bring you back over here. Okay, here we are. Where are you? Okay. There. Hey, it's all tacked down. Everybody is good. Okay, there's some weird sewing thing going on here, but. We don't have to worry about that. We'll just trim it all off because it's going to be underneath. Yeah. Um, there we go. So we have that. This is really pretty. I don't know. I just think that's really nice. So, and you can come in here if you want to put a little bit more on it. If you're saying, well, I've got more little things I could get rid of. Um, I feel like I need a uh, pinker on the edge of that. There we go. Clink, clink. Okay. Something like that. Yeah, I feel more complete now. And you can come in with the Fabrifix or, um, you know, whatever glue of choice. But this one works really well with uh, little bits of fabric. Yay! Okay, here we go. There we are. <clears throat> Am I feeling, I'm feeling pretty complete about that. Maybe I have some little tiny bits. I could, I could just randomly put something here. I have these little things, why not? Use them up, use them up. Okay, which way do you want to go? This way? Oh, this way. Maybe that way. Oh, inside. Yes. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Right? Right. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that. You got to move things around and try it in different orientations. And one all of a sudden will grab you and you'll be like, oh, that's a perfect spot for that. There we go. Do you want to keep going? I have more little bits, but I think I will save these little bits for a cluster or something because I think we did pretty well. Um, okay. So let's put on here. Okay, so here is what we made. Some very beautiful neutral fabric collage game cards that can be turned into pockets or tucks. 
and uh, very fun and easy to use in your junk journals. And yet again, I forgot to put the cap on, so there you go. And uh, so this guy should be all nice and glued in place and then very easy to add things. So if you want to do anything like that, um, have at it. Go wild with your stitches. Have fun. Don't be afraid of the sewing machine. And also, um, don't forget, in um, the month of October 2022, I have a Halloween special going on. There is 40% uh, off four specific digi kits. Um, they're the Halloween digi kits. There's um, Halloween 2020, Halloween 20, no, sorry, Halloween 2021 and 22. And then there is the Halloween signature kit, uh, digi kit. And then there is also the um, anatomy, which kind of goes along with the Hall Halloween theme. So, <clears throat> Sunshine, do you have anything to say? Yes, yes, I do. I have a big report. Okay, well, well, well we're very, we're, we're, we're very excited. Okay, rotate me, Mom. Put me in play here. Okay, I'm coming in, everybody. I think I'm gonna be a little smaller today. Oh yeah, I'm very small today. Okay, um, we went on a walk, and I saw a very big dog. And, um, I think I looked like lunch to him, mm-hmm, um, but I scared him away with my, I'm working on it, I'm practicing my, my tough bad boy look, and I gave him the look, snack, yeah, that's it, that's the look, I stared him down, stared him down, and he went away, he was with his mom, so... Mom said it was low risk of injury to sunshine. But um, um, I just want you to know I am practicing. And um, I think it's working pretty good. Yeah. I am uh, able to scare away the squirrels on the outside of the house on the fence when I'm inside in the safety of my living room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you're making great, great progress, son. And uh, you just, just know inside of you there's a little wolf. There is a little wolf inside of me? Yes, inside of you. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll keep working on that. Wish everybody a good day. Happy crafting, everybody. Love ya. Okay. Um, thank you, son. <clears throat> um, yeah, there you have it. So my, uh, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter, if you don't know. Um, you get a free digital image, a note from the bookmaker, a checklist of supplies, junk journal tips, updates from me, peaks at digikits, and a whole plethora of, you, you just never know what. And um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And... Um, new audio material and you can watch um video podcasts every other day of the week on spotify if you like to do that and uh there there we go and um <clears throat> i have an etsy shop where sometimes i'm going to have completed journals or bundles for sale and maybe a fabric and trim kit i'm thinking about doing that i have a lot of fabric and trim and i thought if you guys are interested let me know below um if you want me to make a fabric and trim kit that i could um uh offer for sale i can do that and uh, it just might take me a little bit to uh, organize because I got to cut everything up, but I, I can definitely do that if that's something that you would like to do. Uh, because a little fabric goes a long way in junk journals, which is kind of nice. And don't forget clothes. Um, you can use your clothes if they have pretty pieces on them and things like that. That's right, you don't really need that dress. Who are we kidding? You wore it once, you're never going to wear it again. And it doesn't fit anymore. So, yeah, junk journal. Okay. And. Um, I sell vintage digi kits, which uh, there's 170 themes you can pick from. Birds, dragonflies, butterflies, vintage, Victoria. I mean, all sorts of fun stuff. Have fun. And you can cut those out, use them for pockets and tucks, etc. Um, I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers, like old um, ledger, uh, vintage ledger piece pages. There's um, music paper, dictionary paper, um, checks, receipts postcards, um, all sorts of fun and interesting things, 100 pieces, and the price includes free priority shipping. And um, I have a print and mail uh, service. If you would like to get digikits but you don't have a printer or don't want to print, I will print those out in batches of 10 for you for a flat fee that includes priority shipping as well. All I need from you is to purchase the print and mail option and then send me your list of 10 digikit names that you would like. I only need the first two or three words. You can send it to pam at thepaperoutpost.com, my email, or send it through Etsy message. And uh, you don't need to buy each individual digikit as well, just the one flat price. 
And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I have links to most of these things in there. And also I have a merchandise shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or um, everything can be a craft supply until proven otherwise, I got you covered. Uh, if you would like to get a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or um, a zipped hoodie or a mug or tote or a water bottle for yourself or a friend, I've got you covered in my merchandise shop. All these links are down below my videos. And um, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, why don't I say Instagram? Instagram? Yes, I'm also on Instagram. Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And remember that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. Have some fun. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.